Hey everyone, it's Shannon Keebler with Empower Consulting and I'm excited because today we are talking about volume two for first grade. So if you're a first grade math expressions user, you might be using the 20 2009 copyright, 2011, 2013, or even my California users are using 2015. So these routines apply to you. If you are using the 2018 version, then you already have videos actually on Think Central. Uh, and if you need videos, if you can't access those for some reason, and you would like to see them done maybe even another way, just feel free to comment or like my video, send me an email. I'm happy to uh, try to upload those for you. So we're going to talk right now specifically though about first grade volume two and this is after you have done the 120 chart at least two times. So you have gone all the way through the 120 chart. I just have a paper one version for today uh, and you've made it all the way through by adding two, three or four every day. You've been doing that flip chart every day. If you've been doing that and been building those counting skills, those place value skills, and you are ready to move on, you would do this after volume or in volume two, after volume one, after you get through 120 twice. Okay. Um, online, if you go to my website at empowerlearngrow.com, you're going to find access to cheat sheets. So these cheat sheets actually I'm calling my script cards. So I've made these for every unit in volume two so that you can print them off, put them on cardstock or uh, construction paper, laminate them, and then your student leader can have them right up there with them to help them get through these. So it's just a script for you or for your student leader. Put them on a ring and go for it. Okay, so there's three big, big differences. What you're gonna do is three separate routines with the 120 chart. The first one just has kids counting from 90 to 120. So you're gonna have them count by ones from 90 to 120, and that's just getting them that exposure past 100 and really good with these other numbers, which tend to be the trickier numbers for first graders. So we're gonna start with um, 90, 91, 92, and just class count with me. We're gonna still encourage them to use their fingers for the ones, and then to clap or to uh, do a finger flash or something of that nature every time we get to the decade number. So first thing you're gonna do is have them count from 90 to 120. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have the student leader pick any of these numbers, um, and let's just say they picked 86, and then the class is gonna count on from 86. So the student leader might say, um, boys and girls, our new number is 86. Count to 120, count with me, and we're just gonna count from 86, 87, 88, 89, all the way to 120. So this is them choosing any number on the chart. So we're not starting at one anymore. We're not starting even from counting by tens and then by ones, which you could do to get to 86. But we're really trying to um, get kids to count off decade. So if I have 86, do they know what number to come next without starting from the beginning? Okay, so that's a pretty good number test. If we say, uh, friends, what comes after 24? And they have to count all the way back from one or maybe even all the way back from 20, 20, 20. 21, 22, and they have to count on from 20, then they don't have that number order. So we're helping them get number order here. So I have 86. You might even have them close their eyes or just decide what number comes next without looking. 87. What prompts that? Using their fingers will help them as they count this. If I have six fingers up, I just have to put one more finger up to know that I go to 87 next. So they're going to count from any number all the way to 120. Once they're finished with that, they're gonna count on 20 more. So the student leader gets to choose. So I'm gonna use two different colors here because I feel like for my kids that really thrive on visuals, this is gonna help them see the pattern that we take for granted. The pattern is really simple to our eyes because we, we see it. But have you ever looked at one of those pictures where people say there's something hiding in the picture? You know, there's the picture of the man and the woman and you're, some people see the man and some people see the woman and you're like, you just can't see it, but everyone else seems like it's so obvious to them. This is the same idea. I think sometimes we think that it's just so obvious because we see it all the time. We've seen it for a long time. So every time we look at this chart, we just naturally see those patterns. I don't think many of our first graders naturally see them. So I'm going to use um, a different color to help us out with this. So the student leader would pick for this one any number on the chart. Maybe it's the same number they chose for counting on to a number. And let's just say it's 86. So I'm going to say, boys and girls, today's number is 86. Let's count 20 more. 20 is two tens. So let's count our first 10. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and then before I get to 96, I'm gonna change my color again, 10. So every time I say that 10, I'm going to circle with a different color. So I counted on one more 10 and I got 96. Boys and girls, let's count on our second 10. Count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then as I get to my 10, 10. Boys and girls, 86 plus 20 more is 106. Class, close your eyes, let's try again. Class, today's number is 86. Boys and girls, let's count on 20 more. 20 more is two tens. Class ready, begin. 86, 96, 106. Or maybe you've been doing um, like the fist pound where you pound to count on 86, 96, 106. Use whatever technique you've already taught them, tapping their head, then counting on um, in the previous units when they learned simple counting on, like adding counting on two, three, four. Now we're counting on 10 more, but we're doing that with skip counting. So this will visually show kids, I want them to practice closing their eyes and just hear the pattern, 86, 96, 106, right? But I also want them to see it when they open their eyes, that we didn't just go over one column, which is the pattern, but it's more that we went 10 more and that got us to the same spot in the next door column. So that visual is gonna help solidify that it's not a trick. We don't just get to go over one more on the 120 chart because maybe they're using a horizontal 100 chart, right? We want them to know it's actually 10 more and that's what's making me land on 96 and then 106. Okay, so you're gonna start with those three basic routines. This is, again is in volume two, and then after you do these three basic routines, there's gonna be add-on routines in each unit. So come back, check out my other videos for each subsequent unit. There's gonna be a separate routine for unit five, You'll keep these three and then add on the routine for unit five. Then you'll get to unit six, you'll keep these three and then you add on the routine just for unit six. So keep them going, build those number skills day by day, keep kids engaged, go back and see my blog at empowerlearngrow.com for ways to keep this moving as kids get spring fever. So thanks for joining me everyone and uh, make sure you like, subscribe or comment below. Thanks everyone.